mean, fuck it. Free advertisement. So. Who the fuck am I? I'm the guy trying to fly by most. I gotta drive my ride, I boast. You ever eye my side piece, don't. Cause I got a piece on my side, no, I don't. I got my CD on repeat, cause the beast beat that sub. Power up like DBZ, no GT, that sucked. Except for Super Saiyan 4, that shit was fire. Fire as fuck, so when I release an MP3, better retweet and love. I'm officially meta, better get the four walls. War calls, more fall. Popcorny rappers like Gorball, red and baka hotter than the core, y'all. I can switch a style up. Spit it slow as dial up, watch you fidget getting riled up It'll take a while, but I'm spitting vile, bruh You would never believe that I sucked when I first rap. Now all I ever get is love, and I earned that All this sweat, tears, and blood, fans return that Look at all this shit I've done, I can't turn I'm back fun You know, in hip-hop, I think, uh I think we don't take enough time to just enjoy what we're doing. I think we focus so much on being serious, you know, being lyrical and being talented that we, we don't even stop to just think about how great the shit we do is. And I'm gonna try to change that perspective. So let's do this. Yeah. I've been giving everything inside my heart and all my music can be solo Master of the art, with the light of dark, day or night inside my dojo Can I pull some bitches with the witness like a boat, homie, that's a ro-ro All my fans be watching me like a body cam or a GoPro They go. Doesn't really matter what beat I beat up Cause the industry shows me no love, just like Vegeta Except for Dragon Ball Super, they kinda been, uh Really be giving my boy love, so you rappers better play dead like a zombie with a toy gun. Man, I live with my music, so live it to do with the gift. Terrific, terrific, it's a given to you. Gotta work the pen until your hand is falling off, and then you feel the genius spitting through you. Nobody told me like ever that I would be killing it. I'm living my life for the minute I'm giving it relevant. Damn it, I'm under and beats, super hero in the streets like a megaphone on an elephant. Man, I'm just so real. Catch me in the back, chilling with your mom, drinking nigga bombs with the baker on. Talk about a son, shitty rapper songs. Yup, shitty rapper songs, dude. I really didn't want to Had to put you on blast But if I to get basic It's back upon you And I think It's really important that You know, we get these opportunities uh, to, to still be topical And still be able to, to flex your abilities musically But I think it's so important To, to also be able to just Say what you want to Even if it even if it isn't You know Super crazy topical Or anything Like fuck Dragon Ball You know <laughs> Gotta get another try While I'm popping off Blasting off On a rap song Like Team Rocket Jaw Scatter your ashes To the mist Like I got Brock involved I'm like a midget Playing T-ball I can't knock it off <laughs> Me and my team We see past a lot Energy seething We had to stop all I'm trying to say is it's fucking bullshit that the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly's trigger word was Kakarot! I'm about to beat the brakes off of your bitch ass. You got no class, and your girl, when well, she gets so passed all around the room like a no flask. I could even do better with no raps on the no Mac as a no man. Every time I spit a verse that's so potential, you was thinking I was Gohan. Ready for Rohan, ready for war plans, ready for anyone thinking they got dope, man. Consider this your final warning. You should take a chips and get up at the dope, man. Grab your coat, man. We give no hand. Anybody who be rapping so bland. I don't give a fuck, I'm having fun, and I am free. You waiting, then you was no fan. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Midweek Sunday. What's going on out there, chat? Happy Wednesday. Hope everyone's having a lovely and fantastic Valentine's Day. So far, where's your Valentine? Where's your husband? Uh, let's see who we got. Oh, you husbandless motherfuckers hanging out in the chat. Mad Yikes on Bikes, Emily Figueroa. Hello, hello. A uh, grumpy, fluffy bunny, long time no see. Mani, Mani, uh, Shea, Zed, the hero, dirt merchant, Shayna. Mm. Susan, you husbandless. Retired redneck, Roger Reynolds, Donna. Hello, Mama Kimmins. Mm. Deb, Red. Ooh, Shadowclaw, Liz, Bruce Campbell's chin, Gray Day, Artemida, Hannibal Lichen, 
Hannibalichin. Uh, Metalhead Fanatica. Fitted sheet. Mine's going so well, I'm getting fucked by the court. Uh, I, I read that differently in my head, but that's not... I'm just gonna... Yeah, right, yeah, okay, that's great. Wonderful right there. My husband is at work, and I'm making him cookies. Aw. Uh, Shelly is not here yet. My husband is out. History Buffalo picked up... Picked up my husband two days ago. Oh, nice. Uh, where'd you find him? You get him at, like, Walmart on sale. Watching Sinatess while brushing my main girl's fabulous fur coat. Ooh, nice. I'm not even going to try to say that one. Uh, yeah, we're starting a little early because we have to end a little early. Uh, if you're feeling lonely today, uh, at least you have your seatbelt to hold you. Oh, shit. What was the other one? Uh, it's not too late to get a Valentine's Day gift. Google Ruby Ridge. <laughs> I, I, look, I don't know what that means. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. We're just going to move on. A puffalophagus. Uh, I have the flu and no idea. It was almost 2 p.m. Yeesh. Uh, Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. <laughs> Miss Sin will be here shortly. Miss Sin will be here shortly. Uh, I, I had to start early. She's not back yet. So you guys are going to have to endure with just me for the time being. But that's okay, because we have a lot to go over. Chantel has had a very productive and uh, romance-filled Valentine's Day uh, week, actually. Well, I got to catch a stream while waiting on my husband. My husband. Not enough Z's in that word. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't register to me as the proper word. There's not enough Z's. Uh, as a fervent anti-Semite, I'd like to preemptively disavow Chantel. Yikes. All right, yeah, that's about as good as a uh, intro as we're going to get into this. So, uh, guys, while we do this, because we have uh, community tabs to go over and all that stuff. So, guys, if you would be so kind as to gently caress the like button, share it out on your social medias. You guys know the drill on that one. And should you feel so inclined, Streamlab is listed down below and should you feel like being the ultimate valentine's day winner we have those mckinley club packages left oh that's not right we have those mckinley club packages that are left and uh if you want to be an extra g you know what i'll tell you what the first person if we happen to get uh somebody hit the mckinley club tonight the first person gets to pick a valentine to also get wrenched yeah one day only you get to wrench a valentine in the chat so if you don't have one you get to you get yours and somebody else's you like that deal that's a good deal damn good deal <laughs> hey look at that right off the bat too movie reference bang and uh since it's valentine's day let's get hearts in the chat too that's what i'm talking about eve what you want what do you want? No, I, I cannot just pet you right now. Mom's not here. You're going to have to pet yourself. Now, let's get an all-hail blue whale out there, too. No, go lay down. Oh, you get butt pats for Valentine's Day. How about that? All right. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We Don't got to be racist. racist. I am, I a, am a shrink. Don't. Don't. Only a few minutes here before fight choir practice. Happy Valentine's Day and Ash Wednesday. Thank you very much. <coughs> All right. Uh, boop, 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 and I think we're good on that. All right, do the liking, the sharing. Do You do the liking and the sharing. I'm doing the show. You do the liking. The Streamlabs, all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Her husband. Uh, thank you, Zenny Biscuit, by the way. Her husband is out at 2 a.m. Yuck, yuck, yuck. He didn't go out at 2 a.m. He left at 11 p.m. I said in the live stream he was at Dwabawa. All of you accusing him of something shady are so culturally ignorant. Like she says it like it's a superhero name. Mm. It's cultural ignorancy man coming here to doubt Chantel's stories. You're so culturally ignorant. You think? <laughs> no, right, we're not even going to that one. 
Uh, it's also someone's birthday tomorrow, but I can't remember. Oh, uh, you're right. Uh, Liz. You're so culturally ignorant. It's unreal. He literally video chatted me while at the barbecue. And sent her the picture that she posted that showed that the food was bought. Okay. Uh, let's get a big happy birthday to Liz. I like Captain Hindsight. Uh, women do not socialize with men. People out here stay late, especially in the winter. Can you all please seriously get lives and read a book, especially on different cultures? You really need to stop spreading hateful, false information because you look like uncultured moron. Who taught her the word uncultured? Hey. Uncultured morons. You're so uncultured, you look uncultured. Thank you, foodie. And thesaurus Miriam over here. Uh, there are no nightclubs here. Lie. Definitive lie. Um, Fuck, where was I? There are no bars. Yeah, there's no alcohol. I know you salivated at the idea of our relationship being ruined, but it's stronger. So stay mad and stay uncultured. That says ignorant, but in my head it's uncultured. Um, also, for those making videos about my mukbangs, if you hate them so much, why do you watch them? You know, you know how ridiculous that is? Oh, wait, you need content. Forgot. Lamau. <laughs> Merriam Webster. God damn it, that's good. Mm. So she is very mad by the fact that people are like, your husband is never home and he's out all night and he's ignoring you at 2 a.m. while you're you're sitting here bitching onto the computer about everything and anything. You're mad about salad. So you're going after everything else that isn't salad. Now, I'm going to put this out here right now before we get into this one. Actually, you know what? I'll read this, and then I'll put up a poll, then I'll tell you my, uh, my big thoughts on this. Hi, on Sunday, uh, from Maddie B., you are a fat, shameless blob of vile, disgusting. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, what happened? What? It's not working. Why it no work? What the fuck? Where's the thing? Okay, hold on. It should automatically trip. Ooh wee! Whoa! God damn, Emmers for the five hundred dollars American. Ooh, the slabs is being Islamophobic. Guys, give it up. Why? Why are you still broken? What is happening? Give work, you fuck. All right. Uh, Emmers! Joining the McKinley Club? Mmm, bitch. Oh, bitch, yes. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Emmers, who are you picking to get a wrench? Who knocked me off a stream boss? T Temple? T Temple. Maybe Totem Pole? Who knocked me off the stream po boss Totem Pole? Un- Acceptable. Unacceptable! I chopped my hair off and started therapy today. Nice! It's good for self-improvement. Happy Valentine's Day. God damn. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, give it up for Emmers in the chat. Newest McKinley Club member out there. And uh, just waiting to see who the thing is. And you got us a song at the end there, Emmers. God bless. Let's take a look at that stream boss HP. Holy fuck. 2.3 million dollars. And as to who knocked you off, that would be one Fastonia. Fastonia. Fastonia was the one who knocked you off. But Emmers, goddamn. Uh, hold on. It's midday. Well, I guess I don't have to go anywhere. My, uh. Mm hmm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we got a pink salmon song on the way out. 
Stream Boss Confetti. Stream Boss Confetti? That's not even Stream Boss Confetti. That's fucking Big Confetti. Oh, boy. I ain't no pick me, girl. All right, I'm waiting to see who Emery says in the chat. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um. Damn, I completely lost my train of thought. Emerys, thank you so much. Absolutely fantastic work, Emerys. Miss Sin doesn't get any of it or a sip of the club juice because she's not here, so she's fucking up. Uh, what am I picking for again? To gain or lose a wrench? To gain a wrench. Uh, I think it has to be another McKinley to take away Liffy's wrench. <laughs> or another uh, stack. Emerys could buy or sell any one of us. Well, yeah, that's true. Emmers gets to pick who gets a wrench. Uh, take her to Valentine's Day dinner, sin. We did our Valentine's Day thing already. Um, but I, I do have a little surprise for her when she gets here, and I think she'll like it very much. Emmers, thank you. One more time, guys. Give it up for Emmers in the chat. That's a song on the way out. Fantastic work. So that is one of three. McKinley packages taken. We have two left for anybody interested. So this is an email Chantel supposedly got, and I'm going to read it out verbatim. Well, you know, fuck it. Right, so we're do since we're doing it big, let's just do it big. Any McKinley's got today, whoever gets the McKinley gets to pick a Valentine. If any more, if any more get got, Today only, you get to pick a valentine to get a wrench. Only while supplies last. Ooh. You are a fat, shapeless blob of vile disgustingness. A fat, shapeless blob of vile dis... Okay, yeah, that's... We're, okay, we're, that's what we're doing. Uh, you're desperate pick-me adult who speaks and acts like a five-year-old. You're a hideously ugly, deformed, and a compulsive liar who is a confirmed animal abuser with a fake husband who can't even stand stand to be in the same building as you. Uh, you have zero table manners, something which your fucking leg spread way of a pussy whore of a mother should have taught you. You're stupid beyond anyone's wildest imagination. You have four or five delusional followers left who can't stand you. The entire internet is making fun of you for what a loser you are. Your effing days are numbered, and I, for one, can't wait to see... A bucket of incinerary <laughs> ashes. Uh, my favorite is that your death will be neither swift nor painless. Die, you vile bleep bleep bleep. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw a poll up in the chat real quick. Uh, 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 there we go. Take that out. Take that out. Check that out. And let me know what you think on that score. Because I think 100% for a fact she, she wrote this email. Email. This reads like the Cuba Rage. This 100% reads like the Cuba Rage. This is... If I read it out loud and slurred a little bit, it would sound like an excerpt from her screaming about Dee Dee. Uh, was that 405? Yeah. It, it just reads like Cuba Rage to me. Oh, fuck. I already fucked it up. There we go. Brand new goal. Bang. Foodie Beauty's Valentine's Binge Candy. Uh, what does the green next to the name mean? That means it is a channel member. Oh, Shadow Claude, do you want the thing? Uh, Regina George for <laughs> Burn Book. Too many shun. What did it to me was the, uh, Last line, vile cunt bitch whore. I think she verbatim said that about. I think she verbatim 
said that about uh, Dee Dee. Uh, can I get a McKinley Valentine? Let me think on that because that was that was like that was like eight months ago. Let me let me think on that one. The four nine nine does count though. Mm. Mm -hmm. If the off chance it is real, this is way out of line. You shouldn't be sending this email out to people. You shouldn't be saying this to people you don't like on the internet just to hurt their feelings. It's rude. And it's wrong. That being said, I think she wrote this email herself. All right, Shadowclaw has been gifted the first wrench of the day. Nicely done. I do declare. Uh, probably from Dee Dee if Chantal didn't write it herself. There's no way some... I never got a McKinley package. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we could do that, History Buff. Pick somebody out. Well, I just, I'm sorry, History Buff. I literally just found the packages like a week ago. They were in the studio. So I, I think this is fake. I think this is 100% fake. It just, I just don't buy it. I'm just not buying it. I can almost guarantee she wrote this herself, uh, being cooped up in a room all day. She, yeah, no, she wrote this to herself. But that's not the end of it. So what I want to get into is this, the whole Goblin thing. <sighs> is Goblin an anti-Semitic slur? Maybe. I don't know. If, if a Jewish person comes out and says, hey, I don't like that. Stop saying that about me. You, you, oh, that, that I don't like as a Jew. I don't like that. Then yeah. But like we talked about Sunday. Someone in the chat was like, I am a Muslim, and I personally don't like the Hamadan, uh, Mary Ham. I think that is offensive to Muslims, but not to Chantel. And I said, you know what? Fine. We're just going to cut that out. We're not going to do the Hamadan. We're not going to say Mary Ham. We're not going to do any of that shit. Because some... Muslims can and would find it offensive. And that's not what we're doing here. We're not here. We're not here to offend an entire religion just because Chantel is cosplaying as that. It's not the religion's fault. Okay? So we're not doing the Mary Ham, Hamadan, all that shit. So that's fine. But. Why would you not want the same energy shown to people who say that you're being anti-Semitic? And I, it, it, she, we'll get into it more because she has a whole stream about it, like justifying her use of it. And not only that, but even Yo Mama said, hey man, this is kind of a slur. You should stop saying it. And she gets mad about it. Yeah, it's like monkey. It's like if I turned around and I called, uh, who's some non-white person I can pick on in the chat? Hold on. Where's John Galt when you need him? Uh, it's like if I turned around and called, uh, no, I don't know. If I called John, uh, uh I don't even think I can say that on live. Amadon is a city in Iran. Stop it. Stop it. You you know and I know that's not the reason for it. We're not doing that. Uh, your boy Pat. Yeah, it's like it's like if I turned around and I called your boy Pat a. Uh, I, I, I guess monkey would work. Like he's just monkeying around. It's like I you know and I know what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna lie about no. We can just not do it all together because it's really degrading the point of an argument a careful sin i know it's like yeah it's like if i call Win it's like if i go uh if i remember correctly wingy is female to male trans it's like oh what's going on you trap and i put like ruffle the hair it's like oh it's kind of weird you know 
But she's going on this rant about how goblins is a mythical creature, which, yes, it is. But the etymology of the word comes from anti-Semitism because the goblins were moneylenders that would go to your house and fuck with you. Like, that, that's just what they did. Even J.K. Rowling got in shit because her goblins had phenotypical things in common, uh, albeit exaggerated, with Jewish people. Okay, Handbox is a different story. All right, Handbox was a whole different thing. Why are we censoring uh, over making fun of a language Muslims don't own Arabic? That's true. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. Um, uh, I'm female to male. I won't object to being called a chap. That's fine. But some people would. So if a Muslim person like one came to me and was like, hey, man, it's, I don't really like it. It's fine. I get it. I'm not going to be upset. But a lot of people could find it offensive. Oh, okay, hand back. Okay, <clears throat> before we get too off in the weeds here, hand box. We were doing uh, the AAA a couple of weeks ago. And I just, out of no reason, I, I just made up a... <laughs> I just made up a ham box. I'm like, you know, I got, I got ham and I put it in the ham box and I'm going, I'm putting all the other groceries away and drunk was like, hey, wait a minute. What the fuck is a ham box? And <laughs> I go, it's, it's where you put your ham, your lunch meat. It's a nice cedar box that's packed with salt that keeps the ham fresher longer. You keep it on the counter right next to the fridge and it just keeps the, the lunch meat fresher for much longer than if it's in the fridge. And Polly's like, what? And I go, yeah, how have you never heard of a hand box? You're American. The Brit, I can understand. What's your excuse? And they're both like Googling <laughs> what a hand box is. <laughs> and they're like, the are you fucking with me? And I'm like, yeah, I, I completely just made that up right now. What are you talking about? Like, oh my God, you had me going for like five minutes. I was Googling on Amazon. <laughs> so it's fine. Uh, a couple Islamic people said they don't like the, the ham. They don't like the ham thing, the Hamadan, Mary ham. All right, I get it. Pork, haram, whatever, fine. We won't do that here. We don't do that here. But Chantel thinks she's so special that these same rules don't apply to her. That she can just do whatever she wants, call goblin, little... Blah, blah, blah. All that shit. She can do all that shit with impunity. You know, go after LGBT people, go after trans people, use it as an insult. That's fine. She can do that with impunity. But if you call her Mary Ham, Islamophobic, all that stuff. Hack Ham. Okay, Hack Ham doesn't count because we're not using Ham as Ham. Just making fun of how she talks. Um, You made me lose my train of thought. Anyway. Uh, it, it's audacious to say the least. Now, people have been using the ham jokes for Chantel forever. But I specifically, I... woo Tina S. For the McKinley, god damn. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Hey, Sin. Shelly's not here, remember that. I'm, I was here. I'm here doing the thing. Uh, I sold my house, and to celebrate, I decided to send my favorites some love. Um, also, gonna get myself a tattoo. Uh, getting a rubber ducky. Getting a Oh, you're getting a tattoo of a rubber ducky. Hope you all have an awesome stream. God damn. Holy fucking shit, man. Guys, give it up for Tina S. Where are you in the chat, Tina? And who is going to be your valentine? Tina, where are you is? Where are you's at? Oh, wow. Tina, thank you so much. Uh, you can't start without me. Don't say I don't count. No, you're not here, so it doesn't count. God bless Tina. Thank you so much. Took a nice chunk out of Emmer's there. Holy fucking shit. Tina, that is fabulous. Oof. I got to think of another stream goal. Wow. Mm. I need to stand up for a minute. Oh, there you are, Tina. You already got a wrench. 
who's going to be your Valentine? All right, Emmers, Tina, your McKinley packages will be out. Toot sweet. If you have not already, please send me your info. And uh, I will get it out to you as soon as I can. Two songs? We got two songs, baby. Mm-hmm. Foodie Beauty's Valentine's Day. Binge candy. That's what it is. Uh, Bone-in spaghetti fun? No, it's got to be... Uh, I'll think of something. But guys, uh, oof. Uh, I'm getting a little sweaty in here. God damn. God damn. Tina, thank you so much. Holy fuck. Uh, hmm. I'll, I'll think of something. I'll think of something. Don't worry. The 4th of July was so much fun. Hey, man, we have one more McKinley package left if someone wants to grab it. And you, too, can get three songs and three Valentines in the chat. Oh, that's good. Oh, I got it. <laughs> there we go. Bang. <laughs> Booty Beauty Cultural Education. Ah, uh, Red Room Visit. If it next one will be Red Room Visits. So that's where I stand with it. Is Chantel okay? That's fine. You make fun of her ham, whatever. She leaned into the ham joke for years. She would go shopping for hand ham cover, colored clothes, all that shit. It's fine. We can make fun. We'll leave ham out of religious connotation when it comes to shop shit like that. No hamadon, no, no Mary ham. That's fine. We'll leave it out. We'll leave that out because. Uh, people I respect said that Muslims would find it offensive. So I'm going to not offend people in order to talk about foodie. I feel like we can all do that. But she, however, cannot maintain that same uh, level of respect, which is her prerogative. So she decided to do a hell of a rager the other day called Let's Eat I Kate. Oh, wait, I... Mm, mm-hmm. That's where I fucked up. Booty Beauties ED. What is it? ED. I C A T E. She spelled educate wrong. Let's eat I Kate. <laughs> she changed it eventually after she got her ass lit up for it. <laughs> so, it, it, this is for people to ask her cultural questions. So we're going to get into this one. So guys, please smash the like button. Share it out on your social medias. <laughs> yeah, eat I Kate. Eat a Kate. I Kate. Am I eat I Kate? Well, it's the stream goal now. Foodie Beauty's cultural eat a Kate class. <laughs> eat a Kate is J Kate's long lost cousin in case you were worried. Uh, smash the like button. Uh, share it out. We have one McKinley left. I did not see Tina pick a... Uh, I, I did not see Tina pick a... Valentine. But we have one left and one more Valentine's pair to go out. Let's get to this. We're going to set this at like one point. We're going to start with 1.5 and if we need to, we're going to slow it down because she is angry. Now let's set the scene. Let's do a little context here, okay? This was 1.30 this morning, Kuwaiti time. One how is Babby formed? This is 1.30 on Valentine's Day, and she is alone. No man. Where is your man, foodie? Pick, yeah, you get to pick somebody else to get a wrench, Tina. You get to pick a Valentine. And whoever gets the last McKinley package, I'm going to do my best to get these out. Oh, fuck. I'm going to do my best to get them out by Friday because we cannot get to the studio today because they're... It, it's a long fucking story. But none of us 
me, the guy I rent from, anybody else, none of us can get into the studio today. It's a long story. That's not, that was not the time for that. But as soon as we can get to the studio, I want to get these out. They are ready to go. Miss Sin's got to put her stickers on them, and she's got to put the address on them and do all that stuff. But we have one more, one more to go. Yeah. Oh, rat cat nobody cares about oh wait well we let's just run through this real quick rat cat nobody cares about makes up lover you know she was struggle breathing definitely brought up money uh, I'm sure there was a you know what I mean in there 100% religion talk no hungry abaya uh, uh, definitely rage baiting uh, shame somebody and rants about haters 100% gaslighting salad is always cringe funkle activities hi guys uh, all right, not bad, not bad. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe. Since we probably will not have time, I don't think we had no. We will not have time to uh, get to the videos today. Maybe we will. Uh, orange cone season starting early. No, there was an emergency with the 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 city. The, the gas lines down the whole street had to get replaced. Um, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to look tell you right now that the like ratio doesn't math, so smash the like button. Smash that like because I know it doesn't math. Uh, uh, extreme boss. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Wonderful. All right. Now let's get to Sorry. There, Renee. You're always first. Hey, Tangerine. Hello, West Coast Loss. Lynn, a lot of people are ignorant. I know I look really tired right now. Veronica. Hi, Nestle. Of course. Dread of the Dead. Blue Paul. I didn't get offered any cookies. There's Tanya. cookies. Stephanie. Shakespeare, Lil Nitty, Jenny. I see one. I'm going to skip ahead just a little, little, little bit. Blood. How's your volume? I think so, tell ya. That's better. <laughs> okay, I seem pissed off. I'm a little pissed off because is she people sped are up yet? spreading false information. This is 1.5. <laughs> okay, I seem pissed off. I'm a little pissed off because people are spreading false information about me. Somebody who is completely, obviously uneducated and whom I'll never watch again in my life. Yo mama. Um, now I know. Oh. <laughs> Friendship with yo mama ended. <laughs> Teardrop, my best friend now. Why they call him slow mama, no offense, but why post that's uh that's deep cut if you get that. It's like picture, derogatory picture of me in a wig and then say that I'm anti Semitic, like get a life. Like, you never come for FFG for being Islamophobic. And not only that, okay, so I'm I'm apparently anti Semitic. Here's the story. I'm apparently anti Semitic for calling um number one, I get called that for standing. Right, if it's too loud, I can turn it down just a little bit. Yeah, for Palestine. So I just want to clarify that. I'm not anti Jew. I have no problem with Jew with Jewish people. Nobody said you were anti-semitic for supporting palestine i'm anti-zionist i'm anti-occupation of palestine oh yeah you can see your chat hold up oh miss sin's coming i wonder if she's gonna like your surprise you can see the steam coming off her head totally unbothered i'm anti the 75 years of history of um killing thousands and thousands and thousands of palestinians a lot of them being children children with no I stop pretending like you care about children. I'm anti the history of Israel. I I would 100% believe she is anti-Jew because that's probably what Salad is. He is a. I'm I'm not meaning to split hairs hairs here, but I'm just going to come out and say he is a young Syrian male, so he, it doesn't surprise me if he is anti-Jewish. And she, of course, just spouts off whatever her partner says limbs because they bombed Rafa recently. Uh, you see it in some parts of the media, but not Western media. Western media shows you Taylor Swift kissing a new guy. Whatever. But <laughs> You don't see it in Western media. Yes, Chantel, because in all your Western media television watching, that's all it's covering is Taylor Swift. There is no news about Israel or Gaza on any of the Western media. That doesn't exist. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the world right now that people are just ignoring, and it's really sick. 
Um, Goblin, let me educate you, okay? Before- Okay, educate me. You're gonna, you're gonna do a quick Google search on the definition of goblin and just completely leave out the etymology of the fact that it was used as an anti-Semitic slur during the medieval times when it w first started gaining popularity in, like, the tales of the Grimm brothers and all that. Oh, yes, eat I Kate. Eat I Kate. We need to get eat I kate -ed. As is the stream goal, Foodie Booty's Cultural Eat I Kate class. The sock of cottage, what do I call her? The sock of crap claimed anti Semitism. Number one, she says I'm not Muslim. She's not Jewish. She uses that when she needs to. Just like, there's no, like, do you know what I mean? She's full of shit. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah, I think FFG has talked about several times not being a practicing Jewish person. Maybe if she is, whatever. The point is, she uses this call. Uh, we do not have politics on the bingo anymore. I took it out because I have been trying not to get political. But that being said, I don't think that there is a way forward that does not include either a straight up genocide or a two state solution. You got to pick one or the other and a straight up genocide will lose you all the favor in the world. Hard and what to, to gain more sympathy. Like she uses BBJ to get sympathy and manipulate her audience. If you look, if you actually. Ah, uh, woo, indeed. Hi, Sin and Shelly. Shelly's still not here. I just started watching Mr. Snowflake's Amber Lynn series and man, I'm so excited to see his foodie documentary. Do you think this will end her channel or just be another blight on her so-called career? Nah, it won't end her. She's too lazy to fuck off from YouTube. Oh, there she is. How dare you start without me? Is she gonna like her surprise? My surprise. You got ashes on your forehead. Ah, <gasps> oh, you got me flowers in my favorite cereal. Yeah. Thank you, baby. I got you a little something something. You're so sweet. I guess you think too. Ooh, thank you. Why is this still here? No, I didn't. Oh, look at that in a little bit. There's Miss Cindy. You like it? Aw, babe, I want my flowers. Thank you. Get, you. I got your little treats. Aw. Flowers and your favorite cereal. Nice husband. Uh, can I send my info to you on Instagram? Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to grab it from there. Uh, I might forget. Send it to mine. Yeah, send it to Miss Cindy. She checks it. I Instagram. do all the work anyways. She, uh, she, she does the package making and all that stuff. I did some research, which is why I can't stand Slow Mama anymore. Hi, Mike. Saji. Welcome, Salam. Hi, Pam. Thanks, Ruth. Colleen, hi. <laughs> um, yeah, she does, JB. Go fuck yourself. Bye. Oh, hi, Amy. We're blocking people. Go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Yeah, air of social media. Exactly. It's gaslighting. Exactly. Um... Go, go get bent, JB. I've been wanting to block your ass for a while. Go run back and kiss her ass. You're stupid. People who just block... I, was, I watched this for a little bit yesterday live. And it... Oh, wait. Hold on. I got to let her play for a second. I got to uh, talk to Miss Sin about something. Okay. Me follow people are just ridiculous. Hi, Jenna. So he's over there saying that I'm like... He's insinuating that I'm radicalizing everything with my post. Chantel's red wig. Hello. How it's hanging. It's hanging very good. I haven't seen that red wig in a while. Thanks for the super chat. So, did I say hi to you, Jenna? You weaponizing her religion when it's useful for her, exactly. Um, if you look at the history of Goblin and anti-Semitism, Goblin as a mythical creature predates any type of anti-Semitic talk. That's where that was that's where Goblin came from. It was it was a money lending it was a money lending creature that would come attack you. <laughs> that what that's what uh whatsoever and until this person brought that up i had and probably from one of our audience members who was like oh that's anti-semitic um i never knew that i never knew anything about it. Yeah, no. okay but now that you do you keep using it yeah that's why i said we're not gonna do the we're not gonna fuck around with the hamadan we're not gonna fuck around with the mary hand well at least i'm not you guys can do whatever you want i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna block you if you do but somebody i respect said that it was offensive so i'm not gonna do it okay that's all it comes down to it. And then you'll say, oh, well, now you know, so don't use it. No, just just here, Isa. We can be as political as we want on the uh, other channel. Screw her. She looks like a goblin. I'm referring what to... What was the cereal, Shelly? Honeycombs. And he got them for me because he ate all my honeycombs the other day. It was still nice. <laughs> FFG has looking like the short, ugly, monstrous, mythical creature. Nothing else. Creatures who, they were like, um, what do they call them, fake characters? It's like, they were... Oh. Okay. I was watching this. 
uh, live yesterday, and I would just see like super chats disappearing. I would see just messages disappearing. Right. So she was full on blocking anybody. So they basically they were made in like I think the first um, talk Astro about feminist has a good point. Yes, and Buddhism is older than the swastika, but language evolves. Yeah, very true. Goblins as mythical. Well, if we're gonna get technical. The swastika that the Nazis used was an inverted version of the Buddhist one, and Buddhists still use it pretty unimpugned to this day because it's not the same thing. But, yeah, you're not just going to walk around with a, yeah, a, right. a Buddhist swastika on your neck and expect not to get smacked in the head. Right. Well, creatures was, like, in the 14th century. Emmers? Yep. Which predates any no. mention of it being anything anti-Semitic. So how and, like, what? You know what I mean? Yeah, Blue Pot, do you have a problem with that? Um, I don't care. Because for me, it's not a racist term. It's not about being racist. You know it's what's weird? It's also I, I remember just like a week ago, Chantel being like, I'm not going to come online and rage anymore. And I'm not going to air all my personal dramas <laughs> on the internet oh, anymore. Yeah. And here we are. Yep. So that's what I'm referring to her as. FFG. Yeah, it's not, it's not anti-Semitic to you. Nobody gives a shit what's anti-Semitic to you or not. Okay, so it's she can say it because it's not anti-Semitic to her. So can I call her Mary Ham because it's not Islamophobic to me? Same logic, right? It, it is the same. Same logic. logic. It is a goblin in the sense of the mythological creature. I never even knew before that when I first used it. She's even Jewish because, and second. Yes, Feldman. You knew her name was Feldman. That that's a real hard to tell if it's Jewish or not. I'm sorry, history buff. Uh, I completely missed it. Did you? Did you pick uh, who you wanted your uh, the other person to get the wrench to be? In, um, that it was even like tied to that in any way. If you look up the Wikipedia page, which is like educational, she she looks like the goblin from Labyrinth. That's exactly what I meant. Um, yeah, I don't know, Louise. This is a new thing. You know what I mean? So. She can call me she ninja horse. She calls me a lot worse than an ogre. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. 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 It is educational info. Wikipedia people refer to Wikipedia for everything else. You know, it has a. Wikipedia can't even be cited in fucking essays. I'm sure if she looked up the definition of goblin anti-Semitism, it would give her an entire definition than fairy tale lore. But yeah. she didn't think to put those two words together because then it would prove that but, she's being an asshole. But the, even in fairy tale lore, oh, okay, so a big chunk of fairy tales come from 14, 15, 1600s mm -hmm. England, where they were highly anti Semitic. <laughs> yeah. Very, um, you know. Uh, okay, you want crochet? Ash me. If crochet pops up in the chat, somebody point them out. And, uh, and yes, you know, oh, I already counted, you know what I mean? I cheated a little bit. Oh, oh, cheater. See, I'm not here, you're cheating, you're fucking up. Wait, I need a sip of the sip. Uh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Come shakes all around. Well, thank you, Katie. Aw, oh, thanks, Katie. There you go. You got a sip of that delicious Eagle Rare. I don't want the other one. Oh, the other one? I do not. Right, wife. Life, life good. good. Wife fight back. <laughs> Kill <laughs> the wife. Mm -hmm. Wife gone. Burning. Think about You wife. talked over the gorilla regret. 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 Now we're gonna need another one that Miss Sin didn't defile with her nonsense. Right, wife. I, know. I, know. I love it. Uh, was waiting for Shelly before I drop her favorite dono, and uh, two damn clubs in less than the first 20 minutes of your stream, Sin. Uh, you have to love your audience and your fans. I love Absolutely. my... Absolutely. My viewer... <sighs> Uh, hold on. <laughs> I looked at these people. I said, tremendous. Absolutely <laughs> tremendous viewers. The best ones on the internet. I, I couldn't ask for better ones. I look at these people and I go, they're just fabulous. The best. The best. I agree. Uh, the best group of people around. And thank you for the birthday wishes. See, I didn't forget. Today's your birthday, Liz. Happy birthday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Happy tomorrow birthday, Liz. I didn't forget. 
I ain't forget. And History Buff did crochet and miss in some super fucking nice. Oh, yes, uh, I love those. Th things. I forget what they're called. They're, they're like the infinity scarf things. Yeah. And, uh, okay, I read Katie's out. Thank you guys very much. Much appreciated. Are you doing the hand gestures too? You have to. You yes. Can't, you can't do it without the hand gestures the punctuating the syllables. <laughs> I looked at this and I said, we're going to build an EIK class. And it's going to be the most impressive, cultured <clears throat> education class ever. Chuck and his ducks. Tomorrow's also my birthday. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chuck. We have to, we have to cherish this. This is, my, this is my last bottle of Eagle Rare. Then we're gonna, we have the other one that I like better. I just, I'm going to have to buy more oh, of this. there it is over there. It's hiding behind my flowers. Sin, I'm knitting you a jock strap. Thank you. Oh, Can cute. you make it a little elephant? Okay, can we just like... Oh, people there's Porsche with Ashby. Oh, there you are. Uh, I can't get to you because the stupid emoji thing. This is the most ridiculous... Like, look at this. Yeah, why do you have make... Oh, you make your own emojis on your own channel. That's dumb. Look, look at the... Yeah, why do I have access to it? Right. Uh, there you go, now I get it. Yeah. Crochet with Ashmi. Right, wife. Life. <laughs> oh, shit. I wife, fight that. back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. Regret. Uh, right, wife. Hi. I just got paid. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, Chion. I think that was Elisa. Alicia. Uh, hi, Sin and Shelly. I kind of accidentally dragged my friend into girl world because <laughs> I was listening to one of your stream yesterday when I went to pick her up. She thinks y'all are hilarious as she should. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Girl, that's wonderful. Nice. Make sure she subs Kabir's. And Ammo, happy Ash Wednesday and Valentine's Day. All much love to you. Uh, Foodie Booty is not an anti-Semite. She is anti-occupation. Does that mean she is okay with Christians reclaiming Bethlehem? It's on the West Banks of Palestine. Oh, God, no. No, no never that. Of course what are you, not. What are you? What are you, fucking, what are you, are you making sense around here? What are you, a homosexual, Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to laugh. You've never seen that movie. I don't care. Uh, thank you, Ammo. And yes, happy Ash Wednesday to everybody out there who celebrates. I went and got my ashes earlier. I had a, I had a very hard time in church today. <laughs> Why? I, I, yeah, I don't want to get into it. Okay. Can you support her? Bye. Freaking ridiculous. Um, this Wikipedia page is reliable. It has all the sources. So go go research it yourself. It's ridiculous. Is there a yarn section in the Discord? Uh, that seems a little niche, but there is a... Um... I could stick it somewhere, I'm sure. That's what she said. Probably... <laughs> probably sports ball. You could probably use that for the <laughs> artwork. You could do it, put it oh, in yeah. artwork. Definitely artwork. Just refer to it as a gremlin, you know? Yeah, she calls me a lot of other things, so whatever, I don't care. If you want to think I'm, I'm not anti-Semitic, if you want to think I am, I don't give a shit, you know? Yeah, a bunch of snowflakes. Except for whenever they can be blatantly racist and forgive Shannon for being, like, they always, like... Okay, I can go, you know what? Ham religious jokes, not cool. Calling somebody who you know is a Jew a goblin, not cool. Most people can look at what uh, Shannon didn't go. Yeah, that's not cool. Mm. I don't know anyone in girl world, and this is maybe because I don't pay attention to what a lot of other people do, but I don't know anybody who is defending what Shannon did. Uh, what did Shannon even do? She liked a comment that said, yo mama was an N word with the hard R. Oh, yeah, she shouldn't do that. They always like, you know, um, how would I say it? They have clear racism in front of their audience. Yeah, sports, why not? It's fucking competitive crocheting. And then they're going to, of course, find an excuse for that. But my excuse, I don't, I don't even care. Yeah, Joe. That, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, the, the, I don't feel any different since, like, the day after she passed away. I'm just handling it better. I don't care what slow mama, I don't care what any of these stupid effing girl Okay, hold on a second. Wait, so... Chantel is saying I did win awards for my crochet. FFG exactly. is the same as Shannon because Shannon did this thing, so now FFG is responsible. Does is she responsible for the shit that was inappropriate that Salad said when they first got together? Ooh, yeah, the uh, the the 
KYS stuff uh-huh. on it. Right. So if that's how that works. We're, we're just, uh, if your friends or uh, around someone, you are responsible for all of their actions. I think that's what that means. I think that's what that means. I think, so. I think that's what that means. I, for some reason, uh, let's, let, let me try this. Uh, 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 oh, oops. Is uh, Nightbot not working? Uh, it seems Nightbot might be glitcheroonying. I didn't I haven't seen it in the chat for a bit. Yeah, Nightbot, Nightbot may be out. Uh, but the slabs link is down below, and the Discord link is in the chat. I don't give a shit what any of them say or any of them think anymore. And Miss Sin, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. She needs her. Uh, she needs her Shreks and farts for Valentine's Day. Oh, I don't care. Tough. Like, if you haven't noticed, like, I don't care what their perception of me is. All they do is try to. You know? Um, uh, I'll, I'll try to fuck with Nightbot, see if I can't get it working. Give me a sec, guys. Just try to find things, like, to make up and be, like, it's so stupid. <clears throat> yeah, no anti-Semitism, but Islamophobia is fine, according to them. And I'm not even being anti-Semitic. Like, again. Who's that, being Islam- okay, Yeah, then they're not being Islamophobic. So what is the difference? Where's your husband, Shelly? That's a good right question. Here. That's on me. That's so not you? page. Look at how that mythical, mythological creature predates anything else. She looks like a <coughs> goblin from Labyrinth. She looks like a goblin. Not just looks like a goblin. You know what? It's not even oh. like that she looks like a goblin. It's that she's like, I was referring okay, to. Okay, Chantel looks like a ham. Done. But, but you're FFG biggest... looks like a goblin. Chantel looks like a ham. So it's okay to call anybody whatever we want because we're talking about a specific person, not an entire group. Yeah, okay, it, Fine. it's one or the other. You Fine. can't have it both ways. Nope. Being a monster, you know, like the way she is. Okay, uh, top command, none. Top chatter, <laughs> Joanna Freedom. <laughs> this is Joanna has chatted the most. Good job, Joanna. Good bird. Uh, commands, custom, uh, Discord. Oh, yeah, that one, uh, we could probably disable that one. Uh, no one knows about it. So oh, Otter's fine. here for Valentine's Day. She's going to give us oh, a Valentine. It has to rejoin the channel. Okay. Nightbot is joining the channel. Uh, okay, give it like five minutes and Good don't talk bird. over to Mao. Uh, 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 uh. So, yeah, rules for thee, not for me. And, yeah, and then you, he's like, Chantel, apologize. Rules for, for rules like, for other people, not for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's weird. It's weird. It's my friggin' no. Are you, oh yeah, sure. Apologize well, because to her, yeah, is, get... Islam is higher than Jew, so you cannot be Islamophobic, but you can't be anti-Semitic. That's in her, in her mind, the hierarchy of religions. She wins. That's it. Uh, is Nightbot a mod? I don't know. Is Nightbot a mod? Yeah, it has to be to post. Uh... When she gets angry, that one eye swells. I, it, I think it does. I think it's a blood pressure thing, maybe. Like, the higher her blood pressure gets, the more her face and eyes swell up. It looks like there was some... Uh... Oh, see, there it goes. Oh, Nightbot, you're here. Looks Welcome. Like there was some changes over with uh, Nightbot, so it's probably going to spaz out for a minute. He's going to tell us all the things. It's probably going to spaz out and read all the commands that it can in chat. Oh, yeah. There isn't anything you could call her that would even come close to what she has called or said about you. Exactly. Exactly. The slow llama. Why comes along, Polo? Hello. Wikipedia is anti-Semitic. That's what they're going to say. Yeah. So stupid. <laughs> MYOB is the slab snipe bot. That is true. Uh, and her little shills are fucking hilarious. Yeah, she does a good job. Hi, Khadija. Hi, everyone who isn't a troll, sweaty. <laughs> Julia? Oh, baby. Why is it, like, doing that? Baby, yeah. <laughs> Give Nightbot a break here. Thank you. I think Foodie Booty's cultural etiquette class is hilarious. Yeah. So, hello, Sea Roller. I just wanted to say that. Um, oh, God, oh, good. good, good, good. Really just ate? What's hard is this upcoming generation of oh, social the, the social Facebook media grandma Lynn here around. says, I, I don't know why anyone... I know. Hold up. I don't know why anyone would hate on you. You're so sweet. Wife fight back, kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. Regret. 
right way. Um, for Mrs. Sin, for Valentine's, I uh, thank fuck your, wait, what? Thank fuck non, uh, none of your significant others are into poop, yes. farts, and holy Christian asses. Hey man, the last one. We, we can talk about. <laughs> we, we could talk Thank about the you, last Katie. one. Day is vault that ass. But the first two, yeah. No way, Jose. I stopped watching like any of these people and I still watch Yo Mama time to time. Um, but not really, you know, that much anymore. So now I'm just done. I'm done paying attention to anything. Um, Otter, why is it Nobody just brings up the fact that she calls me Mary Ham. Uh, they just say, oh, it's not anti-Semitic. It's because you wear... Uh, Pink. Where? Where do I wear pink? Where do I wear the color ham? They can make excuses. You've always worn for that. ham. And you used to call your pants the ham pants. Yeah, you, you would can go... just deny history, Chantel. You would specifically go shopping for ham-colored clothing. Yep. I'm Salah, just because you don't like him. I don't give a. And by the way, I cannot. I'm. I'm look. I'm trying to look at anything else except her video, because I cannot stop staring at the welding on her teeth. The welding. It is. It is so fucking distracting. It's not even funny. Crap, or just because whatever. Like that's a religious name, and you're good. Like it's okay for her, the stupid freaking pig goblin, to do it. I don't care. I can use whatever term I want. Um, it has nothing. Oh yeah, she had the ham pants, the ham nails, the ham hat. Yep. To do with her being Jewish, so I'm putting that out there right now. There's nothing about okay, it. Okay, and her like calling said, you ham has nothing to do with you being Islam. So done. <coughs> This is ridiculous. I'm this whole argument is just fucking ridiculous. I'm wearing pink pants right now. <laughs> you got your hand pants. Oh, nice. main Wikipedia page. It's a mythological creature from the 14th century. It sucks. I'm single like a Pringle. Well, this is Singles Awareness Day as well. Can we look up no. the word ham on Wikipedia and see that ham is not Islamophobic? And, and then argument solved. Wikipedia says ham is not an Islamophobic term. So, well, goblin is not an anti-Semitic term. It'll bring you right to the ham box entry. <laughs> <laughs> Artemina said, I'm not wearing any pants. I like where your head's at. If people want to try to, like, connect it to something else, I don't give a crap. She's calling him hairy and everything else, like, insinuating that Arabs are hairy. Like, I, like, I don't care. Chantel, you have called salad hairy. Salad is hairy. It doesn't have to do with all Arabs. People can talk about you or your fart-eating husband, specifically without meaning all Muslims. Stop it. You can't use your costume as a shield for all criticism. I, I'm a hairy fella. You're also hairy. But if I call you that, am I calling all Italians hairy? Am I being Italianophobic? I don't think so. Yeah, clearly. I had a shirt off itself, you know what I mean? You could say that, you could say, oh, well, you're making fun of Arabs. They're no, exactly one specific you. Arab person. One exactly. specific fat Canadian ham woman. And also, Salah is not a religious name. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't give a crap. What, you know what, yo mama? Why don't you turn and become a foodie beauty reaction channel? Do it. I know you're going to. Hi, Teardrop. Has anyone died so in your because your mama sure, pointed actually. out that you're wrong, you hate him now. Sure. Yeah. He's, you, you've stand him for all this time because he's defended you, but you can't just admit maybe you're fucked up and wrong in this situation. So the one person on the internet who is on your side, you're going to turn against him. Nothing has happened before that. Great plan. It's too dumb to apologize. It's too dumb. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm not apologizing for something. Marinara phobic. Something I didn't do. I don't care. Like, you're going to apologize for something you didn't consciously, like, know about? Like, that's so stupid. No, I don't care. People can be snowflakes. People can be offended. You can cancel me. You can unfollow me. I never care. I don't care. I don't even look at how many. She would rather go through all of this instead of just going i was wrong yeah of course or not doing it anymore because i don't think she believes this no she knows what she's doing yeah i don't think she believes this for a second and instead of going you know what you're right i was wrong doesn't matter i she won't knows. i won't do it anymore she knows exactly what she's doing enough people have told her she's probably googled it she knows that calling a jewish person goblin is anti-semitic whether she's doing it out of anti-Semitism or not, if she's told that what she's doing is wrong, she should stop. Yeah. It's that simple. Just say, oh, I didn't know. I'm not going to do it anymore. Done. Yep. Call her something else. Yep. Call her a hobbit. Call her a whatever. Yeah. But she is just digging her heels in because it's okay when she does it. It's not okay when anyone else does it. That's a good point. Where did those 800 subscribers come from? Bullshit. 
That was very interesting, considering there were no extra views on anything. It's, it's very rare for someone to subscribe to a channel and not watch a single video. Yeah, or subscribe to the channel from a video. It's very strange. How many subscribers I have? I don't give a shit. I'm going to live my life. Um, that's my opinion. It's not anti-Semitic for me. It's a mythical creature. And too bad. Whatever. I don't care. And ham is a, a cute little piggy on a farm. Yeah, Done. Ham is a delicious sandwich. I, I'm not, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not going to do this. Chantel calling her ham is Islamophobic. We're not going to let her hide behind this. Uh, screw you if you ever think, ever think I'm ever going to even, add, like, never, never, never apologize for anything with regards to her. Screw it. This person, like, uses, like, defames me every day, says the most vile things about my name. Screw her. Uh, if you donate a stream boss, it, it heals you up. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I went in hard on that goblin. You place. gotta spell your name the same. <laughs> yeah, she says Ramadan, Hamadan, like, F her. Okay, I'm not saying you know what, that the, if you want to make the argument that that is... And I don't want to say Islamophobic, but if you, if you want to make the argument that that is an anti-Islam joke, all right, that's fine. We, okay. could, we could have that conversation. And if she were looking at a video of random Islamic people going to a mosque for Ramadan and saying, ha ha, Ramadan, that would be different. But she's talking about Chantel, specifically the woman who's cosplaying as a Muslim. Yeah. It's well, not. Make, don't make it right. But for me, no, I don't. Like, the only time I ever reference her using that, like, in regards to being a goblin is, like I said, like, for me, goblin is exactly the mythical creature, like an ugly. Well, it doesn't it matter what it is for you. Yeah. Because for her, ham is just a fucking pig. Mm -hmm. This is so annoying. Uh, the day she stops calling her a goblin, blah, 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 blah. The day she stops calling her a goblin is the day I stop calling her ham Berlin. Well, this isn't the same person. Right. Uh, ever wonder if Salah puts bait? I'm not reading the rest of that. Thank you. But even Amber is called ham Berlin. Mm -hmm. It's about your... Physical appearance, not your headscarf. This is the stupidest fucking argument. Troll looking, I, I lump them all in together. Troll, goblin, like, you know, everything. Yeah, then the why don't you call her a troll? Why don't you troll? call her a gremlin? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what'd you say, a hobbit? Uh-huh. Creatures when we grew up. Rebecca Yasmin, member for five months. Oh my god, oh thank you, Rebecca, ready to show me these? Yeah, it's so stupid, like get a life. Don't pay attention, I have no life, yeah. Rude, while it comes along from Indonesia. I want to go there someday, inshallah. Hi, Gia. We have 600 people watching and 180 likes. Guys, smash that like button. Share it out on all your social medias. It completely unnecessary, but slabs down below. Greatly appreciated. We are over 20% to the foodie booty cultural eat I cake class. <laughs> as she said in the original name of this video. <laughs> Cute. Hot tea, why not just avoid it? Because, I don't know, why? Why should I? Why should I bend to their demands of stupid BS? That's not even true. No, sorry. Why should they bend to your demands of stupid BS? That's not even true. Yeah, cam up. Why? Why should anyone listen to you when you say that? Right. ...while being incredibly Islamophobic with hypocrisy. I mean, you can still be, like, both, but it's just ridiculous. Nobody... Did anyone know about that, like, before? Like, be real. Yes. <laughs> like, it's Lots not... Lots of like, people. To me, it's not an anti-Semitic term. Sorry, not when doesn't I doesn't matter it. what mm -hmm. it is to you. Well, good thing you don't run language, Chantel. Right. You, language evolves. That is the nature of it. It moves, but words still have meaning. This... I... I, I have no dog in this fight. I'm just replying to what she's saying. But if somebody, like somebody came in here, said... It doesn't really matter. I don't really see it that way, but a lot of people would find the ham shit in the context of religion offensive. It's so, not in the context of religion. But, yeah, but Mary, it's not. Mary Ham, it's Hamadon. Not. It's not in the context of religion. That They would find that offensive. Okay, fine. Not going to do it. Uh -huh. I would not call a, an actual Islamic person going about their day, doing their prayers, going to mosque. I would not say anything like that to them. Yeah. Chantel is not that. And then you could like look up the term, look up any other racial slur, and I'm sure that Wikipedia page will be all about it. Like I'm saying, they they talk about the entirety of what a goblin is on Wikipedia. They're pretty thorough. Look it's up a ham, Chantel. Look up sources. a fucking Otherwise, ham on Wikipedia, please. Or taken down sometimes. Oh my god, this is so stupid. There's nowhere, nowhere in the etymology of the word. If you go back to the etymology, for those of you who are dumb, it's like the original source of the term. It was not created as. No, that's not what etymology means either. <laughs> an anti-Semitic term. So people who are twit, like you know what I mean, like later on. 
I had to like, I don't know, I had to- Can I use the n-word now since it's not a derogatory term? Not fucking here. <laughs> like really just Google. Goblin anti-Semitism. There's nowhere about it. There's nowhere. And yes, there is connotations of it, but that's not how I used it. And I'm not- Chantel, you yourself hold these uh, intentionally hateful thoughts in your heart. The, the Nader Camel thing, all this shit. You hold the, the go react to the Holocaust, the doing the Nazi salute, all that shit. You have a history of uh, cultural and, I guess, Jangoist insensitivity to others. Yeah. Why should anybody bend over backwards to kowtow to what you think? That's the question. Apologizing for it, so too bad. Also well, we're getting our eat cake class, guys. Weird vibes from you, Mama. Whatever. I'm just like, for my mental health, I'm not listening to any of these people anymore. Like, I don't care about Ghoul World. The whole thing can burn to the ground for all I care. I'm glad you're getting better, Golden Girl. Eat some lasagna. No, I don't. Yeah, she said salad was racist because you're making fun of an Arabic name. Right. But then she tries to claim it's a religious name, but it's not at all. <laughs> my daughter just adopted a cat. It doesn't matter if it is. It's not making fun of the religion. It's making fun of one specific person. And it has nothing to do with that person's religion. It has to do with salad eats farts. That's what it has to do with. And we're going to make fun of him. Twerk quickly. Aw, Garfield. Try to relax and take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm relaxed. I just don't like when people accuse me of being anti-Semitic for using a term that predates... Well, have you ever tried not doing that? No, <laughs> of course not. Anti-Semitism uh, connotated, like uh, associated with it. Ileana, sort of. I guess every day is a nice day, just being alive, but, you know, yeah. Well, I, I guess know. when you're uh, fighting the battle you are, I'm sure you think that way. Right. Khadija. Yeah, they can say Hamadan and everything else exactly. As soon as I heard your mama start saying that crap about you, I got off, it was so wrong. Yeah, like, what's with your asshole pose? He's such an idiot. Like, I know it's hard not to be affected when I lived in Oklahoma. I had to constantly defend myself because people like to assume the worst and they're nosy. Yeah, I know. Like, people ask me why I keep my circle small. That's why. <laughs> because no, you keep your circle small because literally nobody who's ever met you likes you. That's true. L lit and I mean that in the most direct terms. Literally nobody in your life likes you. Nope. I don't trust people and I have reason to. I don't. People are just a headache. Like, I don't like, I don't like drama. Like... Uh, yo mama made the comparison last night to looking up gorillas. It doesn't say racist, but yeah. Exactly. Th that's a... Exactly. That is a fucking way better point than I was going to use earlier. Right. Like, look up the word ham. It's you know, not going to be as homophobic. <laughs> Gorilla is not going to be racist. It's in how you use it and who you use it against for what reason. On things that people make the drama, and then sometimes I reply to it. That's it. I don't make drama, you know, on my channel. I hate it. It's stupid. It's useless. It's... Ugh. Seriously, it's useless. I, people, like, need to find better things to do with their time. Like, seriously, what happens if you, like... And, but people need to find better things to do with their time while you do this, waking up mm -hmm. at 1 a.m. on Valentine's Day with your husband nowhere to be seen. Oh, I love that for her. Die next week. Like, what did you do with your effing life? You sat there and talked about the same person you don't like eating an effing sandwich. Like, what kind of That's life what are you you're doing? doing? Anyway, that's what you're doing. I mean, I'm sorry. I'd right. rather I mean, be eating the sandwich than sitting around that. talking about the person eating the sandwich. It's ridiculous. You have a sandwich? I would like a sandwich. I don't know. Calling salad salad is Islamophobic. Yeah, exactly. They said it's a typo. Well, you know now that it's Islamophobic. Do you stop it? No, you double down. So you need to shut. It, it's, okay, salad legitimately is not Islamophobic. It has nothing to do with Islam, uh, Arab, or anything like that. It, his name is Salah. So we call him Salad. That's the full joke. Yep. That's the joke. Shut up and get Wait, off my ass about that. Islamic people not allowed to eat salad either? Yeah, no, salad is forbidden. Uh, salad and ham are both forbidden in Islam, uh, apparently. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Great, now we all want sandwich. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna, I'll put this in the most plain terms I possibly can. There is not a time of day I don't want sandwich. Really, her lumberjack's hairy. <laughs> Ew. Hi, April. Thanks, Lynn. I think you shouldn't react to it. Talia, I know I say this all the time. This is it. This is it for me. Like, look, I can't stop looking at it. I think. Look at them. They're literally plaque fused. Mm hmm. 
They really are. That's disgusting. That is fucking nasty, dude. If she scraped that with her fingernail, it would like just. Yeah. Could you imagine how much shit is on her teeth right now? You could like ball it it's up and thick. flick it like a booger. Oh, it's. Oh, thick. remember what we used to call it? Her fuzzy teeth. Oh yeah. Whoa. I think you shouldn't react to it, Talia. I know I say this all the time. This is it. This is it for me. Like I'm done. Like I don't care how many viewers I lose. I don't care how much subscribers I lose. I don't care about any of that. I don't care because you just bought a bunch. Yeah. Why would you care? Or come on here and cry about it. You never see me go, oh no, people are unsubscribing. Unimaginably nasty. I don't care. I never come on here and cry about my views. I don't care. I'm very grateful for everything I have. You know, even if I get like 500 views, I don't care. That's 500 people watching me, whatever. I don't need the money that I used to to support myself. You know, I have a supportive husband. People don't believe that. I don't give a crap. Whatever. You don't know anything about my life. You don't know what. No, we, we know you don't have a supportive husband. Stop it. No, fear the treks. If you call anybody that's from a particular group something other than their name, it's whatever phobic. That's just how it is now. That's the new rule. That's you the have rule. a nickname for your friend. If they're a, a marginalized group of people, you cannot call them that nickname anymore. Yeah, it's whatever phobic. Exactly. But the truth is, all speculation. Like uh, <laughs> Tina, have you sent that to Shelly? Because I want to get these out tomorrow or as soon as I possibly can. And we have one package left. That's true. Are you sure we have three? You said we have three. And we have one package left. That person I posted on my community post. Now people are like, no wonder people think I'm a liar. Like you're making up legit lies about me. What am I supposed to do? I put my sister in a dryer and turned it on. When? When? You said that. Those are your words. It's in the fucking McKinley documentary. It's, <laughs> it's in her, her previous lies is what it is. McKinley? Yes, I, I get it. The toad McKinley. Okay, stop poking my boob. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> like the McKinley package that yes, we have I one more it. left? I get it, honey. In the McKinley club okay. that you can get another Valentine Day for? Okay, okay. Are you kidding? That never happened. Like, basically, a guilted, <laughs> again, former friend who went psychotic, Kathy, and she made these posts, these lies about me on Kiwi Farms about what I did, to, like how I treated my sister it was all lies. Like, she's lucky I didn't go into what her history was. Poke boob. Mm. Is it chat said to poke boob? Stop poking my boob. Because I'm telling you, it's not beautiful. It's worse. She's I got your card, by the way. Nice. It's insane, the things she's done. So, keep talking, Kathy. Anyway. Yeah. That's the thing. I can't keep defending myself and, like, you know, going after every little lie made up about me. Who cares? But this one pissed me off because it's, like, so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Snow can Muslims celebrate? They don't typically snow, no. But I'm sure some do. He said apologize. When does FF Trash can apologize? Yeah. She is so mad that whatever stand she has, she's like shaking it so badly her camera can't stay focused. Mm -hmm. he, likes to, he likes to think, oh, I'm a fair person. I'm a fair person, whatever. So I'm going to be a virtue signaler and call out everybody and be self-righteous and, self and sanctimonious, whatever. He can tell you that you're wrong. It's okay for someone to say that you were wrong. Um, hey, John Hard R Galt. <laughs> Silent viewer. You I was supposed to call you something, but I don't remember what it was, so we're just going to move on. I've grown so much in these past five years. Misery loves company as you continue to build your relationship with Christ. Um, I'm actually Muslim. <laughs> I don't know. I have a hijab and everything, so that's the way it should be. Yeah. Sent it to Shelly. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your money. Message was deleted. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I have no idea who these people are. It's Khadija. It's better that way. These are people from like that are so upset. If I was arguing with a group of people online and I was sure as shit that I was right and they were wrong, I would say blank, blank, blank are stupid motherfuckers. Go watch their shit. Go look how stupid they are. Yeah. And she's like, no, don't even bother going over there. You're going to hate it. Yep. That's with my past. They can't move on. They need to make money off my back or they else can't they party. can't pay their bills. They're pathetic. They're bullies. They're pieces of crap. They're just the worst human beings. And it's an actual community that YouTube platforms. It's all bullying, hatred, drama. Um, grandmas who are like like there are like literal grandmother reaction channels who spend their friggin golden years talking about me like it's ridiculous get a life D look don't be upset because you're not going to see those years yeah yeah that's, that's true yeah. whatever i had no idea yeah me neither rebecca i had no idea that that was you know what i mean are your teeth fake no <laughs> Are your teeth fake? Ha, 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 If I would have, if I had fake teeth and that's what I had, I would be so fucking mad. Oh, they look fake, Chantel. They're covered with fur. Why is she hating our hobbies and our shows? I don't know. She seems like the kind of person that would hate The Witcher. Probably. She would probably despise John Wick. 
probably hate Better Call Saul. So. <laughs> Which I am loving more than the first time, by the way. The hate. The story has been around for years, but you misdirect your anger at it because you never deal with your... What are you talking about, Half-Life? Again, that's not exactly... That's nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. FFG makes fun of my peer... Don't be racist, I am a building. Parents, my, my religion, everything for how, you know? So I called her a goblin because goblins, if you look it up, terrorize people and they're monstrous, oh, wait. all right? FFG made fun of my religion, so I called her a goblin. Is that what she said? That's exactly what she just said. Let me hear that again. That, that's nothing to so do with it. So she knew what she was doing. Nothing to do with it. FFG makes fun of my appearance, my, my religion, everything for how, you know? So I called her a goblin because goblin. God damn, good catch. <laughs> John because I could get away with it and say, it's just a fictional creature. John Wick cares about animals. Of course she hates them. That's true. It's facts. Goblins, if you look it up, terrorize people and they're monstrous. All right. That's all that it was. It's not deeper than that. So you can take your little snowflake butt and get out of here. Thank you. Hi, Fernanda. Yeah, exactly. People who claim to be neutral, there's no such thing. Her eye is really bulbous right now. It is. It started Her normal. blood pressure is out of control. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. A history buff for the big 110, Adono. So good, it's always perfectly timed. Indeed it is. Happy thank Valentine's. Thank you, history buff. And that is an always perfectly timed Dono. Thank you so much. Let's get a big thank you to history buff out there. Fucking fantastic work. History buff, Tina and Emerson. Thank you guys so much. We are almost halfway to our third goal today. That's true. <laughs> that is fantastic. The Saul commercial. Dude, it's... And by the way, someone said an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind like diabetes. That was hilarious. <laughs> Talk to the chat for a second. That was good. Oh, so we're going to have better call self donuts, apparently. Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, diabetes, I think that's what happened to my stream last night. You had diabetes? No, that fucking oh. guy who Tucker was interviewing was so anti-pharma companies that he was hitting all the right buzzwords. Ah. Uh. Oh, this that dude, could be. Did you? Were you watching? Yes, I was listening. This guy was like an anti-medicine wacko. Like he's like, uh, diabetes is like Alzheimer's and all this shit. Wow. And he goes, you can't treat Alzheimer's. Like, what are you just supposed to not treat diabetes? No medicine, no treatment. He was one of those cats, and I, I'm like, okay, because it started off as anti-ozempic, which all right, uh, we can have that conversation. I know people who got kind of fucked up by it. But then he starts going into the, well, we're so reliant. I'm, I'm like, okay, no, it, sometimes medicine is a good thing. Yes. And then he's like, people need insulin. People need heart medication. And he's like, the average person age 55 is on five prescriptions. And it's oh, like, okay, right. yeah, of Just course. Just because the drug companies overdo it a little bit doesn't mean none of the medications <laughs> are needed. Yeah. And I think that's why it got pulled. Probably. So I just I pulled the whole stream down just to just to be safe. <laughs> Henry Witcher, thank you, History Buff, much appreciated. Thing you're right. I can't believe we're almost halfway to our third goal. That's insane. Yes, it is. And Emmers get done got shin kicked into about a million HP. Ooh, oh yeah. boy, you're right about that. Actually, very wise. Yeah, prudent and informed is good. But this dude was like. We shouldn't be on any prescriptions. Like, okay, hold up. Wait a minute. Modern medicine is kind of a good thing. Yeah. Really, Gizmo? What do you mean, f favorite Muslim things? What? <laughs> it's hard to speak on this channel. You'll get blocked even though you weren't What do you mean, cool. favorite no, Muslim things? Somebody, I don't have any like, favorite you're... Muslim things. I like to cover my hair and chin. Mm -hmm. That's really her answer. been an insane stalker and bully for years? Yeah, I don't want you in my chat. If you side with that or you think I'm anti-Semitic, I don't, I don't want you in my chat. I would rather have zero, like, five people in my chat and give them attention. You know, for me, again, it's quality over quantity. I don't want, you know, no. I don't know, Pam. I don't care, Half Life. I don't care. It's not a rage. It's addressing allegations that are not no, true. No, this is absolutely a rage. Exactly. You've addressed all of these things a hundred times. You're just raging about it again. Exactly. The Semitic people of the Middle East are considered Semites, so that includes Palestinians. Yeah, exactly, Sati. Exactly. Thank you so much for that. Okay, I'm going off from what she said. She needs to stop moving her eyes when she speaks because it's evasive. Uh, to, yeah. Shut up and leave. Yep. Yep, it's true. Yeah, I'm not anti-Semitic. I don't... Yeah, we should go back to the good old days of mercury and cocaine as treatments. I, I'm anti-Zionism. Well. No, you're right, cookies and cream. I need to stop giving reaction, and I will. Trust me, after this, that's it. Like, I'm not... 
I don't care what you say about me anymore, if you think I'm anti-Semitic, whatever, but it's just, I'm explaining where that came from for me. And um, I would rather die than apologize to that ugly mythical creature, <laughs> right? Yeah, you don't have to apologize, but you could stop doing it if you now are, are educated, like, like you know, educated and more cultured that you understand what your words have meaning. Oh yeah. And she'll keep using Islamophobic slurs and no one will say anything, you know, like- Ham. Ham. Islamophobic slurs. She said ham. Mm hmm Terrible. Whatever. Slurs. I ham is before. a slur. Yes, uh, Did you know that ham is a slur? That reminds me. Uh, I didn't know if we had any uh, slur meat left oh. after dinner last night. <laughs> so I picked up a small pack of... Uh, a, of, of meat slur? I got black forest slur. <laughs> it, the funny part is I'm not kidding. And I ate... You ate, you ate all of the there's slurs? There's like three left. I only got a quarter pound. What are we going to do? We only have three slurs. Because there's still some left. I didn't know. I don't like the... I don't like the... The deli wasn't open. You, you know what I'm talking Like the... The package meat. Yeah, I don't like the package slurs. Grandma's pegging grandma. Did you put it in the slur box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why it's still fresh. I don't really pluck my eyebrows. I mean, okay. I did recently because I'm not supposed to as a Muslim, but... I... I there is a ham that is sold at Giant Eagle that I can never remember the name of, but I know it's in the prepackaged section. So I'm playing roulette every time I get it because it's like a good, sweet honey. It's got that honey ham taste, like real honey ham, but I can never remember the fucking name of it. So every time I go to pick up slurs, <laughs> I'm like, uh... Uh, uh, we're gonna try that one, and then I get it, and I'm like, yes, it's right. Then I throw the package away, and I don't remember what it's fucking named. Usually, I never do, but I did pluck a little bit because my eyeshadow wasn't. Oh, I gotta read a Facebook <laughs> grandma comment. I'm new to your channel, and you seem to have a lot of channels against you. But what I have watched, this is all capitalized for some reason. Every word so far, you seem to be honest about the good and bad, and honest about your past. <coughs> Uh-huh. She's honest about her past. Uh-huh. Okay, Facebook grandma. Uh-huh. That's so funny. Yes, it is. And they actually believe this. Uh-huh. Campari, sorry. Welcome to Elite. Thank Ooh, you. Thank you, Campari. So, I don't think I'm going to pluck them anymore, though, but, yeah. Grandma shaming. Yeah, I'm shaming you if you're grandma and you're spending your golden Your whole chat is than... Facebook grandma. Stop shaming them. Like, you should have stopped. I have a commercial great slices, so I cut all my own slurs. Being a bully at 16? Yeah, I'll shame you for that every day. Every day. I know, Jackie Howard. Hello. Wait, can they, they it's can't be a bully at 16 or 40? When are we allowed to be a bully? When is the appropriate age to bully? That's a good question. I like the scarf. It's a kafia. Palestinian scarf. Well, not just Palestine, but yeah, mostly worn in Palestine. As yeah, okay, we get no, it. That You're scarf on your is from everywhere. I got one of those. In the mail from Afghanistan. It's not a Palestinian scarf. Shut she, up. She's on her Palestine. She put up a, a TikTok the other day, lip singing to some free Palestine song, and she was so off it wasn't even funny. What's that? It's like, okay, we get it. You, you, you're super into this Palestine thing. Sign of resistance. I like it, yeah. Thank you. She's wearing it as a sign of resistance, but it's like the most generic Middle Eastern scarf that every single country wears. Yeah. Okay. Amber sending prayers and hugs. Thank you, Ruth. Hi, Fernanda. Why do people want me to come back to Canada? No. Why? People are not remembering how miserable I was there. That's the problem. I'm going to wear it a different way so it's not as hot around my neck. <laughs> You're indoors. You were only miserable because you got told no. <laughs> Lena, I don't know. Where's the evidence that Palestinians have killed LGBT people? Oh, be quiet. What does that have to do with the genocide? Yeah, where's your evidence exactly? <laughs> Sh Chantel, S-H-A-N-T-E-L, is a sweetheart. I don't care what anybody says. Blue Pot, you probably didn't even know that it was an anti-Semitic <laughs> term before. Didn't you say you were... You were um, you seem so Muslim much happier Muslim. now in Kuwait. Does she seem happier to you, Facebook Grandma? Does she? You two are the best keep up the good entertainment. Thank you very much. Hi, Babs Bunny. I didn't see your question. 
It's hard to ignore hate when it gets spewed to you every single day. Defend yourself as much as you want. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna feel bad for it. It's just that it's not worth my it's not worth my time and attention. That's the only thing. You know what I mean? But yeah, exactly. Hi, Michelle. There's people that still love you here. Thank you. Well, good luck on your adventures today, Smelly Cat. What are you talking about, Volky? I don't <laughs> understand your question. I could go for some pizza, but I have my meal prep. 30, 40 year olds pulling up and to bend over for them in their opinions. Yeah, no, never. It's ground beef and. And like a mountain of garlic. I didn't use that. I used more onion than garlic. The whole house smells like garlic. I don't think you can pinpoint the garlic smell. It stinks. Because I used more garlic or more onion than garlic. That's probably too much onion, also. I, ju I just put a small onion. That's too much. One whole small onion. That's too much. Stop it. Never. It is cyberbullying, yeah, but I don't care. I don't allow myself, like, I don't let it get to me. Like, you can't really... Pineapple and slur pizza sounds pretty good. It does. I could fuck up a pineapple and slur pizza. They are bullies, but it doesn't affect my life. You know, like, once I turn this off, that's it. I live my life. I don't care. It's annoying that they're so stupid. Hmm. Yeah, and they say... Your useless history note for today? Paper clips are a symbol of resistance. Really? Things that are oh, not true. Okay. Like that resistance I put my sister in a dryer what? and people what just believe that. Oh, really? Well, she's a horrible person. Oh, okay. She's horrible. Then she put a sister. That's my, this is my thumbnail. <laughs> in a dryer. That explains it. She deserves to be molested That's by a fucking salad man. That's like when he comes in the house for that two minutes. He comes yeah. in the house today. He plugs his nose. It throws the food and then turns around and runs out. He's got a clothes bid. <laughs> uh, did you cut the real big slices like ALR? No. I, I cut onions properly. <laughs> They're so, they're so, so... Norwegian ridiculous. resistance during German occupation. <laughs> oh. Cynthia, yes, I'm ready for Ramadan. Thanks, Susie. I'm here because I genuinely care about Chantal. That means a lot. Why is the chat so toxic today? Because they're just, they wait in the woodwork, Sylvia, for any drama, and then they come out. You don't have to explain yourself, yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Bye, Joe. Is a hamburger now a slur burger? Yes. Yes. Joseph. Ignore them. They've already been new. Yeah, you're allowed to have pierced ears. Because ham is a slur now. Yeah. Just like and salad. Too. Mm -hmm. It's also a slur. But I got rid of my nose piercing because it's annoying. It's one. And I've been sleep having broken sleep, right? Because, ugh. Because all you do is sit at home all day and do nothing physically exertive, so you just sleep all day? Yes. Pain is tiring, you know? So I just, like, try to rest. I find after I sleep and wake up, the pain is gone for a little while, like, right now. It just flares up sometimes, especially if I do too much, like too much bending and stuff like that. Um, so I'm really, I'm not going to like, I can't bend anymore to pick up things. I have to like, I need a grabber. People read too much into others' lives. Why she needs a grabber. Need? Yeah, that's what you need. <laughs> yeah, that's going to help. On falsehoods and drama. I know. Okay, bye, Kanita. The me look at Hamadon, the mentality. Just block the somebody else. Um, maturity level of people from their audience are just ridiculous. And a lot of the old beezers have that mentality too. And I don't want these people in my chat. If I have to start from scratch and rebuild, I don't care. <laughs> slur, slur sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to Wendy's to ask for a Dave Slur burger. Thank you, Nito Squishy. Yeah, there are. Yeah, there's a lot of leeches and parasites. Yep. She needs to be less people. <laughs> no, I'm not. Diana. I'm not. She's an idiot. That's her like whole content. Like imagine like sitting there complaining about something. I take, you're just going back to the pill thing. I take, this morning I took 13 pills. What brought that up? Someone in, said I'm on uh, over a dozen. Oh. I took 13. Two of them were prescriptions. Yeah, you just take a bunch of vitamins. I take a ton of vitamins. Someone eating and then knowing that you have to watch that with your hateful piece of crap audience. All three, four thousand of them, hateful pieces of crap, to make any money. So you can buy a house. <laughs> yeah, sure. Are you jealous that you, you can't buy a house? I am. <laughs> I am also. No. <laughs> they have a nice shape. What does? Yeah, Alexis. They're not supposed to pluck their eyebrows. <laughs> People who like ham bits in their salads are essentially Hitler now. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Thank you, Diana. I had the last thing I ate was the subway, so I am kind of hungry. Foodie Beauty is back. Where? Hi, Toby. I seem so much happier in Kuwait. Yeah, I am. I am, for sure. I'm not like running around dancing. I do not like green eggs and slurs. Dancing around and everything. I'm more like modest in that regard, but 
doesn't mean my happiness level is, you know, I have a lot of health issues that probably prevent me, like more health issues than before. I'm getting older that prevent me from like being super enthusiastic, but and I'm like in pain and tired. Hello, Wrestling World Podcast. All right, just going to put this out there. This is like the fourth time she's brought up the house thing, and she is probably super fucking bothered by it. Of course she is. Look at the little fart box she lives in. She can't even walk through the living room without moving the fucking table. Hey, but you know what? Like, okay, FFG is doing well monetarily on her channel. Mm-hmm. But Chantel thinks that should be her money. Yes. Like, with the exception of today, the past month has been... The lowest earning month I can remember. It's the holidays. Everybody's a little fucked up right now. It is what it is. Nothing to be done about it. Uh-huh. Ads are being ran fewer and farther between. YouTube as a whole has dropped CPM down. That is what it is. There's nothing to be done about it. But somebody is buying a house and you're mad at them for it? Yep. Like, on a personal level, that's kind of like a... How dare you? Because she should have that money to buy gifts for salads so he would come home. Yeah. Yeah. Husband is good, Mary. Thank you for asking. Daily music lists. Don't waste a brain cell on that. Sh- <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they don't waste any brain cells. They don't have any. So why should I? 99K. What? No, I had like 91, 98, 150 last time I looked. Yeah, and then you bought 800. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Couldn't afford the round thousand, Chantel? Maybe somebody bought for something, some troll bought bots or something. If I, if I really have that many. Oh, the, uh, some troll oh, did a, it. a troll. Yeah. Yeah, that she's been talking about getting that plaque for her birthday. It was a troll. Okay. Yep, definitely sure, definitely a Chantel. troll did that. Hey, there's got to be bots. And if you have bots, like, from trolls, they'll get rid of them eventually. But if they're legit, cool. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. They're not legit, it Chantel. They didn't watch any videos. Did you go to- Ooh, Emmer's, the stream boss just updated. And we got the picture back. Nice. Emmer's is just under a million. Mm-hmm. You guys have been putting in work. Poor Emmers looks like she just went three rounds with Balboa. <laughs> no. A lot of comments being deleted, yeah, from, like, I guess, well, there's moderators in here, Nito. What's Soska? LGBT Palestinians exist. It's still free Palestine, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. You're doing well, and that's why they're attacking with lies. Let them destroy themselves with hate, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And they don't... Hold on a minute. I need to do something. She probably needed to call Sally. Go, where the fuck are you? Uh huh. I'm dude, it's two thirty in the morning. Where are you? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hi, Heather. Sometimes a person can only take so much. She has every right to defend herself. Anyone dealing with the same shit would too. Are you kidding? If like if I did, if I did half, just even like a fraction, one. If I did one of the things that these people do, it would be content for years. It would be at least, right? Oh. It is. She does all the things. Uh, I decided to come out of retirement, take my uncultured tenders. <laughs> uh, happy Valentine's Day, Mr. and Mrs. Sin. I love you both. I love you more, Mad Yikes on Bikes. Thank, Thank you, you, Mad Yikes on Bikes. Very much. Much appreciated. Yeah, you're beating the shit out of Emmers, and that counted as double? Oh, I must have left it open. Uh, you got double HP on that one. Oh, Ooh, Emmers looking rough. Uh, John said, I love how she's using the same argument for Goblin that everyone's using for Miriam. Yeah. It's like I said earlier. It- she can look up Goblin on Wikipedia and see that it's just a fictional character. Why can't everybody just look up Ham and see that it's just a pig meat? Yep. Why? They're still, like, trying to crucify me, for lack of a better term, for things that I did two years ago. Like, please. Didn't you just bring up like breezy punching an old guy like a week ago. Of course. Hello, Linky from Zambia. Ooh, I don't I care, Volpe, about any freaking documentary made about me. I think I made that clear. Who cares? You have a package. <laughs> right here. Let me see. You could actually take a break about <laughs> some more BS day. criticism Ooh, about me, like another documentary. Do you know how many are already made about me? There's one made about me five years ago. It's three hours long. Do you think I really honestly care? Like. The only thing, reason I brought it up is to address that it's what it's going to be like. I already know. I don't have to watch it. Their source just trust me, bro, yeah. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold, please. What'd you do? Okay. I, I hope my computer is not about to have another fucking stroke. Mm. Oh shit. We are over 60% to the third goal. Chat. Let's get hearts in the chat for the chat. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. Say screw haters. We've had Dragon Ball. We've had Witcher. The only thing we're missing. Wick. Yeah, Wick. We, we need a Wickening. Continue making a couple vlogs. Yeah, it's not about the. It's my dick in a box. Haters. It's just. He's busy with other things. I know my makeup is everywhere. <sighs> it wasn't the dryer, it was the oven. Oh, yeah, yeah. All siblings do horrible. I never did anything horrible to my sister. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, they kicked you out of the house <laughs> because you were so mean to her. What do you she, mean? She may not have done anything horrible to her sister. All of the stories <laughs> that she told in her past were probably <clears throat> lies. No, they kicked her out of the house for a reason. And I think it the reason they kicked her out was that she put her sister when Chantel was like 16 and her sister was like five, I think is the age difference. Chantel put her sister in the dryer and turned it on. That's what Chantel said. No, that's what her friend said. Oh, okay. That's why they kicked her out of the house. Okay. And she can even tell you that, but don't, she's not going to talk to you. People like insane. I'm pretty sure I'm close on those ages. I think people message my family members. You know, I, I'm reminded of that Facebook grandma that was in the comments saying she never lies about her past. Yeah, She's always honest about everything, wanna, especially her past. Oh, God, yeah. Like, whose family members have I contacted, by the way? Who? Hi, Canilla. Love the impression. I, I, I kind of remember you doxing Dee Dee's grandma or something. It, the nursing home. Yeah. That the grandma lived in and people's kids' schools. Yeah. I heard 15 and didn't turn it on. That's still fucking bad. If that would have been 15 Kids and Kids do four. bad things to each other, I imagine. You, you, Siblings you know, terrorize each other. But whether it happened or not, if she talked about it in the past, like it was a funny story, why not just be like, yeah, we, we were playing. I put her in the dryer. I didn't turn it on. No big deal. I'm, so what, Chantel? Why are we just lying and pretending you didn't say a thing you said before? I don't understand. Mm. She's like, Dylan, yes. Oh, am I way behind? I feel happy, yeah, 50 shades of beige, I do. Like, I'm not allowed to address things like that are stupid like this, or what? Means I'm not happy because of other pe things that other people are making up and saying? Thoughts on King Cole? My sister fed me a f spoonful of shaving. Well, what do we know about Chantel? More than anything, what is the number one thing we know about? She's a liar. She wants attention always. Well, yeah, that too. Always, 100% of the attention needs to be on her from everybody. Mm-hmm. She, imagine how bad she was at 10, 12, 14, like that age. If she's this bad now. Yeah. And a little sister pops up. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, bro, I don't care. Oh, Caitlin's like, I think I saw a little bit of it. Oh, yeah. And that doesn't even, that's not even bringing up the fact that she said her little sister had mental disabilities when she doesn't. To <laughs> Wow. I was like disgusted and I turned it off. I was like, ew. They were acting like how, like, I would act in my worst days. Do you know what I mean, Kate? I wonder why people get angry when you defend yourself. They make fake claims and lies. If you say the truth, it's not accepted, baloney. Exactly. Hug Julia. Thanks, bug. Future Miss Becky Williams, the new Chantel is so different from the old Chantel. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Fizz. <laughs> Thank I, you, I Diana. saw that comment live Games. yesterday. Sure. I wonder if there's a higher on the Middle East war. Yeah. Yep. Linky, there's so many other things going on right now that are disgusting in the world. Like, if you, nobody even cares. Nobody like your the teeth time. that you seem to have sucked clean? See anything, they just, like, roll their eyes and keep scrolling at, like, freaking mothers screaming over their dead children. It's disgusting. Okay, I seem to remember one uh, foodie beauty making fun of dead kids. I do remember that. Oh, really, Rebecca? It's up to you. I'm not going to tell people it's okay if she to, does it. you know... Uh, watch. As if she is going to be happy living in a house paid for by hatred. Her soul will never be happy. Spawn a lot. Yes. I would be happy living in a house paid for by hatred. Uh-huh. Never. Yeah. And she thinks that she's not going to have any consequences for any of, of the shit she's done. <laughs> okay. She's not going to buy a house. She can't even buy Adidas clothes. Yeah, she wears the same smoky sweater. Yeah. You know? Chantel, you have two outfits. E well, um, I think three. Maybe three. 
that scuba Steve thing you're wearing is so pilled up. It you've been wearing the same damn thing for a year straight, every single day. Oh, hold on, I gotta restart this. Okay, hopefully that's gonna not screw up anymore. Talia, I try. I don't pray with makeup. I usually, uh, yeah. You don't I pray. Don't pray. pray. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to. Jeans at least not with nail polish. I don't know. <laughs> Speak no evil. No, I haven't seen it. You hear me? Did yeah, you hear I, I heard Did you. you. Hear me? Yes, I heard you. I know. Don't entertain fake news. Exactly. Thank you for shouting me out with the cold water comic book. <laughs> I always think of you now with that. This is not cold water comic book. Eh, it's bad. Jack, 26 months. Hi, Legend Beezer. Ignore the haters and Islamophobic haters. They're all gross people. Yeah, I would get a, a fucking sign that said the house that hate built. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack, for always being a Beezer and supporting me. <laughs> Ready, set, ready, What did FFG ready. say? She wants to get a sign that says the house that crack had Olympic built? Okay. This is a crack. In this house, we live, laugh, hate. We live, laugh, wine dance. <laughs> <laughs> Upon this hate, I will build my church. <laughs> Be, I call out her lies all the time. All the time. Lumberjack being one. Not having BBJ two. Do you want me to go on? I can't make a lot. Anyone else? So, are you mad that she does have BBJ or doesn't? She's mad that she didn't get to kill BBJ. That's all. Binge bitch bees. Oh. <laughs> Jenna, thanks for the hot dog. <laughs> I, I do want a sign, at least for the studio. It says, yeah, live, laugh, lay down, suppressing fire. That's cute. I want that for the studio. I can make you that. <laughs> Volpe, it's no one's business what we're doing for Valentine's Day, if we celebrate or not. I'm not, not telling you. <laughs> you don't celebrate, so it's not there. <laughs> it's no one's business if we celebrate Valentine's Day or not. She's going to move her fake roses to in front of the camera for her next video and act like she just got them. All right, let's see what my Valentine got me since we're doing this. Oh, I got uh, candy hearts in there for me to eat. Uh, peanut butter candy hearts. A card. You know, I love a card. You do love a card. Your Valentine snack. My own Valentine snack in your Gummy book. bears. Look what flavor they are, though. They're all the good flavors. So you, you got yourself gummy bears? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you left the price stickers on. That's. Well, I don't give a shit about the price stickers. That's fancy. What's this at the bottom? It's gummy hearts. See, babe, it's gummy candies. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love you more the end. Mm -hmm. And I can I'll put that up next to the, oh my God, you were right about everything. Thing. <laughs> that is very cute. Thank you. And a robe. And a robe. And a robe. And your shirt's coming in the mail. I won't be here until tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't count then. Or the next day, I don't remember. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. You I, like your I didn't card? get you a card. Of course you didn't. I don't keep cards. You yeah, didn't. I keep the cards, so. I figured I'm not going to waste time getting you, like, searching for a good card. I don't keep cards. But I got you all You that. never write anything in them. You just write your name. So what am I going to keep it for? I, I write stuff in them. Your name. Other stuff sometimes. Just, you're just your name. <laughs> Anybody anything about that anymore? <laughs> nope. Look what happened on our anniversary. People, like, paused on the like gummies, flowers right? and counted no. how many roses there were. As if this person wasn't... You're not even getting one rose from your fake boy. My ex sent me a first aid beauty kit and a Brazilian bum bum cream from Sephora. <laughs> That's nice, though. Ooh, what are these? I don't know what they are. It was in a box. I couldn't tell. It's got a unicorn on it. These don't look very good. Well, they cost $5. They better be good. No, I mean, like, they look... They're melted. So what? It's gummy candy. Who cares if it's stuck together? Oh, okay, they're still good. Yeah, of course they're good. They're just stuck together. They're gummy. That's weird. It's like juicy on the inside of the bag. Eat one. Boyfriend, lumberjack, so what are you even criticizing? Courtney Lynn said, boyfriend's out of town for work, and I'm sick, so I got myself Dayquil. Aw, that's so romantic. That counts. This for? You know what I mean? Or, like, people made, like, 500 videos about it, about the cake, about... So, no, if we celebrate anything together, we do anything together, it's... Oh, you got a new it's couch. So nice. That's not, a good Valentine. We got a new couch. Seat. Well, a new to us couch. Yeah. For my mother. My mother got a new couch, and I got her old couch. That counts. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> kids. Yeah, exactly, Talia. She has no life, just me. Yep. You know your heart. Thanks, Rebe. They're all a bunch of hypocrites. It's funny they have to go.
I got Miss Sin flowers, her favorite cereal, a bunch of candy, and a little teddy bear. I love my teddy. I'm going to put things they do much worse. Exactly. I'm glad you didn't give me another giant teddy, because I have nowhere to put those. <laughs> you yeah. got me giant teddies for like three years in a row. Oh, and they're like, fucking what? massive. Fuck, I'm going to put these giant teddies. Tepid water for tepid people. FFG's ripped fitness center in pineapple bar. <laughs> yeah. Like, if that's that was me funny. and I said, oh, I'm just muscular, do you know how, I mean, how that would become a meme? Oh, that's you! What? I'm like, the, why the fuck? Is the audio still crackling? It's you chewing into the microphone. Those are my candy hearts. You can have them later. It's because people don't care enough about her. Like, she's a, just a vessel for hate. That's all she is. No personality other than that. Get those back. They're no, so young. you can have that's them later. That's the truth. Yep. And I'm supposed to be bothered? Giant Skelly's for next Valentine's um, I think. Hi, Ang. Next year, Skelly's staying out until Valentine's Day. You think? I should have left him out this year. I was afraid of snow, but we barely had any snow. Yeah. From New York, next year, it's going to be a ton. Watch. I'm just scanners. We can move the chair around. What are your five-year plans? I want to get healthy and travel and find a way to... You can't even stand up. She needs a grabber. Yeah. Oh, she people. just said she needs a grabber, but she's going to get healthy and travel. Exactly. You know, ride around on her scooter with her grabber. <laughs> wow, bitterful. All right. <laughs> they counted the roses, yeah. Yep. Yeah. That would be Hi, Luna. They were like, that's such a like welfare bouquet. Excuse me, where's yours? Right there. It might be nice. It's got roses and carnations. I love carnations. Like, that's what they do. They criticize everything, but they never show them. That's your favorite, isn't it? They are my favorite. They, they smell the best. Of their life, they don't have one. How many years has she been stalking Chantal at this point? Yeah, thousands of videos. The same crap. I don't know how people. It's like beating a dead horse over and over and over again. Like, I get over it. You think I'm fat. I eat gross. I don't care. It's your problem at this point if you continue to watch it. All right, guys, we're going into like the last 10 minutes, so please smash a like, please share it out. Do the thing with the thing and the thing down below. And uh, we are 62% to go, almost 63. Rips lower arms, yeah, right. Good math. Like I said last time, if they put this much attention... I hope everyone in chat gets a cheek pinch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we both just dived in. <laughs> Stop! I'm going to touch your face. Oh, I got him. Okay. Well, I got you first. Right. No, do it gentle. Do it gentle. Okay. Oh, that was not gentle. A little, one more. Stop. I got to give you a forehead pat. <laughs> God damn it. I touched your face. Stop. Now work into a master's PhD. Though. Which cheek? Good point. No, ow. Look at somewhere <laughs> in life, right? How come it's doing that focusing thing? It's annoying me. It's because you're shaking. Like she was shaking with rage when she said, let's eat I cake. Great style. I don't do things that are like uh, against other people. So who cares? Well, I, don't, I don't put my hand. Yeah, Chantel has never done anything against another human being ever. That's never happened once. No, of course that. not. I don't want a PhD. What? No. I've been to university. I dropped out. Do they you went for like a week. Stop pinching my butt. To be an English major. For Valentine's Day there. Some people, yeah. Yeah, they do actually because I saw a lot of adverts for it. Yep. Hi, Seth. Green grapes. Oh, oh I'm apparently Islamophobic. Painting. For using a term that predates uh, any anti. Uh, no, sorry, not Islamophobic. Anti Semitic. Yeah, I said anti Semitic. Good break. All the talking, if she has done that, women should be locked up years ago. I, I agree. Yep, inshallah someday. FFG should be locked up. If you want to have the conversation that she does too much, we can have that conversation. But she needs to be locked up is crazy. She will be. If you're mean to me on the internet, you should go to jail. <laughs> right to jail. <laughs> right to jail. Right away. <laughs> How tall is Shelly? Giving her head pats might be more appropriate. Five foot seven. She's I'm a, an Amazon woman. She's tiny. Well, I'm very tall. I, I like just woke up not long ago, Ryan. I'm tired. <laughs> Jenna. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway. No cheek pinch, but I will be worshipping a holy Christian white ass later on, so I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think I caught up with the chat. So, it doesn't make sense. You will find anything, I know. Because I called her a goblin. Not focusing on- I can't believe she sucked the-, the She did. When she got that comment about your teeth look fake, she, like, Oh, maybe that's where she stopped the video. She was like, I gotta do something. Maybe she was like, she didn't like scraped it off her teeth real fast and then turned the video back on. It's probably all over the inside of her scarf. She probably just rubbed her teeth <laughs> off with her scarf. 
I she bet. She sucked, I bet that's when it was. She sucked the welding off. <laughs> like anything else about the post I made, just that I called the welding. <laughs> yeah, because that big thick gob of shit that was right in between the two in the middle is gone. <laughs> the gob of shit. People even knew that that was like anti-Semitic. Like had, people were associating that with anti-Semitism. Because Oh, Don't here, back to I didn't know this was anti-Semitic. Don't forget to make out for no more than 15 minutes today. The teeth plaque was her midstream snack. Because they're saying that goblins have Jewish features and mostly like I, what? <laughs> Actually, what? Like if you think about that, like what? So you're like. OK, so you looked it up. You know the reason why goblins are anti-Semitic, but you're just going to say it anyways. OK. I'm five nine. My friend called me a freak the other day. Being tall sucks. I hate being tall. I wish I was petite. Insulting Jewish people, like, with saying that. I don't know any Jewish people that look like goblins. What are you talking about? Like, really, it's so stupid. Chantel, you don't know any... No, she doesn't. People. She knows no people. Uh, like, I had no idea. Annie 78 came up FFG. Yes, like, she never will. I'm half Jewish, that's why I'm only half good at money. <laughs> well, you know what a solid investment is. The McKinley package. <laughs> that's true. Goblin is an ugly creature, that's how I always thought. Yeah, and they terrorize households and like for, like if you look at the myth of it like i think i used to read like fairy tales like that as a kid and there was a lot of myth mythical creatures like that like fairies goblins stuff like that you know she wants a reaction out of you that's it yeah i know well eat it up merry christmas this is the last of it it is a crochet why are you putting our valentine's plans out like that make out 15 minutes ass play Eight hours. No, we're not doing eight hours of ass play today, You've been sir. educated and you keep saying it. Fifteen I've been minutes. educated? Well, I'm educating you on what the term actually meant, historically. <laughs> All right, so, you guys heard it. That means it's legally binding. For me, it doesn't mean that, so I don't care. It can also mean a mythological creature. It's not only... It doesn't only mean that. People are, uh, like, using that, but it's also a myth. So if somebody makes a story about a goblin, they're anti-Semitic automatically? Like, it makes no sense. It's stupid. It's contrived drama and outrage. It's ridiculous. Contrive? So if somebody if talks about ham, it's Islamophobic. It's contrived drama and nonsense. Mm -hmm. A story about a goblin, which I have the right to do because it's a mythological creature historically. So we can't ever talk about that ever. Like never. It's in children's books. Exactly. I know people are. All right, Tina. Good luck. I love you too. Say, thank oh. you, Tina. Let's get a big thank you to Tina. Thank on you, way Tina. Out. Well, so are like um, the way they depict, uh, you know, like black people back in the day. But it's not it's not the same at all. Goblins are in children's books from the old days, yeah. All right, last five minutes, guys. Make sure to get those buttons that are like like symbol touched and the, the share button clicked and leave a comment. And if you want to get any last minute uh, slabs doing the, the... Fuck, I fucked it up. People will have an opinion about it, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I won't be using it ever again. I told my wife... 15 minute kiss, eight hour butt stuff. She said, when tonight? I work in the morning. <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is very nice to hear that Miss Isa is a good girl. Well, I mean, unless, I don't know if there's a story or something about it, but. Um, so if we start now, we'll be done in time for bed. Addressing that okay. idiot ever again. Never. Nope. Get fire, what? Get firearm add on sin stream. Appropriate. Oh, gets a firearm add. Nice. I thought you were saying get firearms on SinStream. Like, this is the last time to see it. <laughs> so. I told my boyfriend the eight hour butt stuff joke. His face lit up. Good boy. T yeah. Hmm. So. Anyway. No one cared till she. Yeah, Samantha, I think you're legally a midget. She said something about it. Exactly. Nobody even like. You Oompa Loompa. Oh, wait, that's Islamophobic. Do about it. That's like, a racism whatever. somehow. Don't so do that. So stupid. Like, it literally predates anything that, like, the, the how can it be anti-Semitic when it was made before anybody claimed it was anti-Semitic? It's not, it had nothing to do. It was made to be anti-Semitic and no one gave a shit because that was the point until someone's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right, Chantel, we're done with you. We have songs. We do. We have songs we have to do. So, guys, if you're not going to stick around for the song portion, that is perfectly okay. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Thank you for an incredible, incredible show this evening, this afternoon. Happy Valentine's Day. Two full goals, two new club members, and 63% of another goal. Woohoo. Incredible. All right. Song. 
the first. What do I want to hear? What do I want? I need a love song because it's Valentine's Day. You think? Do we have any love songs? Um. Hmm. It is Valentine's Day. Huh? <laughs> So sweetly. Oops. Sorry, shit. I clicked the wrong button. My bad. Hold You're on. Fucking things up, babe. I, I am. Hold on one second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who drops a grand on stream for Sanu? Yeah. A person who treats donating like wartime. <laughs> I know one thing, man. I'm gonna have to stick some flames as a way to say thanks. You know what I'm saying? Eat, drink, and be merry. Oh no, no, stop. Sorry, Duel. We need, we need something else. It's Valentine's Day. We need something else.
The Ike Sun Bikes and History Buff guys have a lovely Valentine's Day. Make sure to leave it in tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good night, everybody. Off Love to you. the AAA meeting on Polydub's channel. <laughs>